Welcome to our lecture line. The next method we want to consider is called the reduction of order method. That's the method where we have a second order differential equation. We're starting with the homogeneous portion. And the coefficients are not constant. They are variables. They are functions of t. And when we have everything put into the standard form, the method of reduction of order is considered the method where one of the solutions is known. For example, y1 is known, and we're looking for y2. Now, y2 is going to be expressed as a product of y1 times another function of t in this case, called u. We don't know what u is. That's what we're trying to do is find out what the value of u is so we can find y2. We can take the round skin of the two solutions, y1 and y2. Since, of course, y2 is not known, we'll write it as y1 times u. On the second row, these are the derivatives of y1 and y2, and since y2 is a product of y1 and u, this is what the derivative looks like. If we now calculate the round skin, we multiply y1 times this component here, this element, and then subtract the product of these two. So we have y1 squared times u prime, when we multiply this times this, and then multiply this times this, we get this term right there, minus when we multiply these two terms. And notice, of course, that these two terms are equal to each other, so they cancel out. And then we're simply left with y1 squared times u prime. So that's the Ronskian of the two solutions, y1 and y2. Using Abel's theorem, we can also say that the Ronskian is equal to some constant times e raised to the exponent minus the integral of p of t dt, where p of t is the coefficient of the y prime term course, considering that c cannot equal 0 in this case. Since the Ronskin is equal to this and the Ronskin is equal to that, we can set those two equal to each other. And so y1 squared u prime equals this on the right side. Since we're looking for u, we're going to divide both sides by y1 squared. So u prime equals this divided by y1 squared. And since y2 is equal to y1 times u, Therefore, it's y1 times the integral of u prime. And since u prime is equal to this, it'll be, oop, and I'm missing something. Yeah, I'm still missing something right here. So this will be equal to y1 times the integral of that. So I was missing a y1 there. So y1 times the integral of u prime, which is equal to this, will give us y2. And then finally, once you have y2, you then say y is equal to the homogeneous portion of the solution is some constant times y1 plus another constant times y2, where y2 can be calculated doing this. So we take the integral of u prime times y1 will give us y2. And that's how it's done.